Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. Today, we're going to be looking at the 26th book in the Ace Science Fiction Specials Series 1. It is the second book by Avram Davidson. The first book that I read of Avram Davidson was The Island Under the Earth. You can find that review on my channel. The second book in the Ace Science Fiction Specials by Avram Davidson is actually an earlier copyright than The Island Under the Earth. The Phoenix and the Mirror by Avram Davidson, 1966. This Ace Special was published in 1970. Davidson's protagonist is Virgil, based on the Roman poet of the same name. You may recognize some of his quotes. Fortune sides with him who dares. Or the quote at the 9-11 memorial. No day shall erase you from the memory of time. There is a legend that he was a mage and a sorcerer. Queen Cornelia of Carsis has taken an essence or a part of his soul. In exchange, she wants him to make a speculum or mirror. This is a magic mirror. Cornelia wants to see what the magic mirror can tell her about her missing daughter. Virgil goes off on a quest to find the materials to make this mirror. He and a trusted companion travel to lands far away to gather these materials and then return to make this magic mirror. About two-thirds of the novel concerns this quest and journey. We see new lands and kingdoms and encounter strange characters. In the last third of the novel, we meet the phoenix. What is the phoenix? How does it play into what Cornelia seeks through the magic mirror? Can Virgil survive and become whole again? The first two thirds of this fantasy novel move very slowly, but once Virgil has collected all that he needs to make the mirror, we come to a climactic encounter with the phoenix. The phoenix is an awe-inspiring character. The climax rewards the careful reader. I understand that Davidson was positioning Virgil to be a character that would continue in a series. I'm not aware if there are more novels with Virgil, but this novel is a complete story. So how do you rate a novel that was slow, tedious at times, had some interesting prose, and then has a climax which literally lights the plot on fire. If you are the persistent reader who loves the journey, I think you'll love this whole novel. If you're reading it just to find out what the fiery ending is about, it could be a long read. I give The Phoenix and the Mirror 6.5 out of 10. Have you read The Phoenix and the Mirror? What are your thoughts? I appreciate all the viewers who joined the conversation in the comments. Until next time, keep reading.